Emulate 3D's CAD as the model functionality allows users to create dynamic digital twins directly from their CAD. Aspects define behaviour such as physics properties, joints, motors and I.O. for external controllers. These aspects can be added within the Emulate 3D application or within the CAD package, for example using the SOLIDWORKS add-in and then utilising the CAD update feature to keep files in sync. Let's look at creating an example from within Emulate 3D. Our system contains a number of conveyor sections. Using the CAD as the model toolbar, we can add a conveyor surface to each of these sections by defining a leading surface and a trailing surface. The motors for these conveyors can be configured, for example, changing their speed profiles or pulse generation. We can control this conveyor by connecting to a PLC using customizable control modes. The tag browser will let us visualize, manage, and debug this process. We can mark other objects as loads, which will interact with these conveyors. Loads will move along conveyors according to their motor speed and friction settings. If we want our loads to interact with sides, deflectors or pushers, we will need to add aspects for physics. Adding a physics geometry will make an object solid and produce collisions, whilst marking it as a rigid body will make it a dynamic object with mass, affected by forces and gravity. Kinematic joints allow us to create constraints and movement without the effects of gravity, external forces or inertia. A prismatic joint will produce a linear movement without rotation. Setting the joint to be inverse kinematic allows it to be driven by closure constraints or by mouse interaction. We can add joint restrictions to limit the range of motion of our system. Adding a motor and setting the system as forward kinematic allows us to drive the joint according to its control mode. For example, we can set our motor to be driven to a set location, provide optional positional feedback, and have automatic limit switches to turn off at set bounds. We can then combine multiple joints together to produce mechanisms, which can include closed loops. Let's look at another example by adding a kinematic revolute joint. This joint allows one part to rotate around a fixed axis. We can set the direction and location of this rotation with the mouse, and then make sure that the point is relative to our base, which is the component we are attached to. A rotational motor can then be added to configure the speed, acceleration and deceleration of the joint. We can then drive the joint to the required angle. We can add a dynamic joint into our system to model mechanisms which are heavily influenced by external forces such as gravity or contact forces. This joint will apply a customizable maximum force to the system to try and achieve the target speed of the motor. This example is another prismatic joint. We can also add other kinematic or dynamic joint types, such as spherical, helical, planar or cylindrical joints. Gears and other couplings can also be modelled using passive parameters. Additional aspects can be added for end effectors, control panels, sensors, load sources and sinks, and many more. Custom aspects can even be written using C-sharp scripting. Use Emulate 3D's CAD as the model functionality to create dynamic digital twins directly from your CAD. Immediately begin to simulate and analyse the system, interact with mechanisms and control panels within virtual reality, and connect to external controllers for virtual commissioning.